There, all you need to do is get a piece of light cardboard, cut it into the shape of a boat, cut a slot in the back, and put a little piece of soap in there. Oh, okay. And then put it on the surface of the water. Look what happens. Oh, it's moving. Go ahead, put yours on. Okay. Try it's still moving one. pretty fast. Why does that happen? Yeah. Well, that's because of a sort of interesting and mysterious, invisible attribute of water that a lot of people don't even think about. And that's what you and I are going to investigate today. All right. Now you can do another trick. See, there's a paper clip mm -hmm. and a fork. Put the paper clip on the end of the fork and get ready to try to float the paper clip on the water. What's the paper clip made of? It's made out of metal. Okay. Notice so that I'm winding this off, I'm scraping the top off like that? Mm -hmm. I'll explain that to you later. Okay. Okay, wait till the water settles down a little bit. Now, slowly bring the fork down and see if you can get, leave the paper clip behind. There it goes. It's floating. Yeah. A steel paper clip floating. Mm -hmm. Why does it do that? Well, it's that's just... based on that same sort of invisible attribute of water. Here is a piece of ordinary baker's mm -hmm. string. See. see how it's in an oval? Yeah, it's sort of a ri in a regular yeah. shape. There's a piece of soap. Touch the soap to the center. Okay. Oh, turns into sort of a circle. Yeah, keep touching it again. It moves away from the soap. Yeah, and now you've made a nice circle. Uh -huh. Well, let's see if we can't find out something about this mysterious thing that's on the surface of the water. Get the paper clip mm -hmm. out of there. And now I'll do this again. First of all, if you're going to do these kind of tricks, you should get clear, cold water, nice and clean, no soap in it. Mm -hmm. I put it in a, in a tray, and I put wax all around the edge so that you can sort of heap the water over the top. Oh, you so see? the wax is keeping the water in. Right, sort of keeping the water in so that you can load it to the very top with uh, water. Then, here's my old favorite stuff called lycopodium, which I will sprinkle on the top and so it'll make the top surface visible. You could do this at home with pepper. Mm -hmm. Water's still moving around a little bit, see? So the lycopodium just, it shows the water more. Right, it's just making the surface visible. Okay. Now, that bar of soap, mm -hmm. touch it right in the center. Right. Oh, it does the same thing as the, as, as as the, the string, string right. Now. See if I can explain why and see if you understand it. As you know, water is made up of molecules. Mm -hmm. at, below the surface, the water molecules are all around each other. But up at the top surface, there's air up above it. So the top surface water molecules are sort of pulled together because there's nothing pulling them up. Oh, I so see. that means there's sort of an invisible skin. The molecules are closer together on the top surface of water. So they're pulled together on the top. Right. And when you put touch a bar of soap to it, the soap molecules dissolve in the water and get in between those water molecules, and they don't pull as well, and so they go apart. So it breaks the surface breaks tension. Breaks the surface tension, it's called. And now you see why I did this? Mm-hmm. Because that way you can start, you can start you, with you a new surface You get rid of all tension. the contamination on the surface, mm -hmm. and you can start over. Now, can you explain the boats? Where one of the little boats is down here. I'll, can you explain what made the boats go forward? Well, since soap separates the surface tension, um, they're going away from the break. They're right. In other words, the, it's the surface. It's the the surface tension behind the boat that's being broken. So it is pulled forward or around on a circle. In that case, because the soap is off center a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes them go zooming around. Now get your fork and the and the uh, paper clip. Okay. If you do this at home, you don't, you don't have to use one of these. You can just fill it up with new, fresh, clean water. Okay, right. see if it's nice and clean. And when you do tricks on sur with surface tension, you have to make sure your hands don't have any soap, because any kind of soap that gets in there... Ooh, be careful. There you go. There it goes. Now, why is it floating? Well, it's floating because the surface tension is broken, but it's holding it no, up. No, no, it's not broken in this case. All you're doing is sort of putting the paper clip on the top of the surface and it's sort of bending down like rubber. Like oh, okay, thing. so it's supporting it. Right. And in fact, there are s several uh, things that you do uh, that try to get rid of that surface tension. In fact, notice soap broke it? Mm-hmm. So w when you use soap to wash dishes or your hands, it's breaking the surface tension and making the water wetter. Oh, I see. So you can break it up so you can clean up mm -hmm. stuff better. So when you do this at home, be sure to get nice, cool, clear water with no soap in it. 
Now for the real test to see if you understand it. Okay. You've had strawberries and raspberries and things oh, like I that. Oh, I love and they strawberries. Come in, and they come in a basket like this too, mm -hmm. right? Full of holes. Yep. There's holes you all over it. You couldn't possibly float something like that, do you think? I don't think so. Well, here's a pan of water. Try it. All right. There it goes. It's floating. Why? Well, the surface tension is holding it up. Yes, and if you look closely, sometime when you try it, you'll see the water is all sort of bent down in each one of the places where the, uh, the bars go across. Oh, I see. So you're floating it on the surface tension. I How see. could you sink it? Using soap. How about spraying a little soap on the bottom? All Watch right. what happens. Down it goes. Keep going. There it goes.